2020 Bentley Park College presentation ceremony. My name is Aisha Khan, and this is Zaria Chang, Claudia Lieber, and Isaac Wadigo Morgan. And we are the college captains and your hosts this year. Our annual presentation ceremony is a very special event on the college calendar when we recognize students' academic, sporting, the arts, and citizenship of achievements. Although this year's ceremony may look a little different, we are looking forward to presenting our high achieving students to the college community. Before beginning our ceremony, we'd like to acknowledge the Gimwai Wallabari Indigenous people, the Aboriginal owners of the land where we gather today, and we pay our respects to the elders both past, present and emerging. We recognise their connection to country over thousands of years, and may their strength and wisdom be with us today. We now present our college concert band, conducted by Miss Ruth Holtz, who performed our national anthem at the Australia Fair. Their presentation ceremony performance was recorded earlier in the term, while the band was filming for a piece for the entry in the online Australian school band and orchestra festival. Welcome to our presentation ceremony, where you will see the best of the best from Bentley Park College in academia, citizenship, the arts, technology and sport. I would like to congratulate all students for earning awards this year and thank the parents and carers for their massive role you play in helping your children achieve to their potential. This has been a year like no other in living memory. As the COVID-19 pandemic has swept the world with its horrible consequences, we as a nation have had to improvise, adapt and overcome. And that has certainly been the spirit at Bentley Park College. When we went into lockdown early this year, all of us at the college community had to quickly adapt to the new teaching and learning environment to ensure continuity learning for our students. As a college, we had to very quickly develop paper-based learning packages and we posted out over 4,000 continuity of learning packages to our local community. As parents and carers, you became the school teachers overnight and as students, you became self-directed learners working from home who worked very hard to improve your grades. Under the great leadership of PNC President Lionel Brooks and his team, the Parents and Citizens Association took on the challenges of the COVID-19 shutdowns and maintained their great services all the way through the main crisis period. Our community have really enjoyed and appreciated the work of the PNC in 2020. What I've learned from this year is that we have a very strong, resilient college community. A community that adapted very quickly to the change, developed tech innovative practices like adoptive technology and working from home. Like all far north Queenslanders, we just got on it without complaining, as we're used to living and overcoming natural disasters and have a whatever it takes attitude. This year has very much shaped a positive future for the college. As the COVID-19 lockdown came into play, we ramped up our use of our extensive information and communication technology infrastructure and skills to produce online learning in a variety of mediums, including Microsoft Teams, ClickView and YouTube. Our communication and feedback with the college community has vastly improved with our use of social media technology, enabling us to continue our learning from home successfully. Particularly successful was the use of YouTube to continue our teaching and learning of the Resilience Project in partnership with the North Queensland Cowboys. Throughout the year, 
our own YouTube star, Stefan Poropat and Kim Wilson, as well as numerous student leaders, developed YouTube videos that gave student resilience challenges each week. So successful have been these videos that they've continued throughout the year and have been a huge hit, especially with our primary students, parents and carers. Our annual operation plan this year focused on two main agendas amongst many. Firstly, we've spent this year fine-tuning and aligning all curriculum work across the college. The new QCE system for senior secondary students has gone through its first cycle with the Year 12 students being the first recipients of ATAR and QCE later this year. Our second major body of work has been the development of the new Student Code of Conduct, which outlines expectations of behaviour for our college community so that we can have a safe, supportive learning environment. This has necessitated the reworking and development of all college policies, which are now part of our website and also part of our college information book. Signed off by the PNC, the college leadership and student leadership, the Student Code of Conduct will enhance teaching and learning into the future. In conjunction with the school community this year, we have finalised the five pillars of excellence on which the college is built upon. With a strong track record of academic excellence, community participation and citizenship, the arts, technology and sport, it is no surprise that we've identified these core areas as our pillars of excellence to build our foundation into the future. In all of our core public documentation, you will see our vision, mission, values and pillars and how they develop a complete prep to year 12 education. This year we've announced major partnerships which will benefit our students and communities for many years to come. In August, it was announced that Bentley Park College would be the first Gateways to Industry Health School in Queensland. By becoming a Gateways to Industry for Health, we will work with industry providers to best position our students to go into health related industries. This could be from doctors and nurses through to allied health professionals and maintenance personnel working in hospital facilities. With the opening of the Cairns South Health Hub facility, the Health Gateway to Industry and Health Department partnerships give our students access to traineeships and employment in health, which are usually very hard to come by due to the on-the-job training requirements. This puts us at the forefront of the six pillars for the future of the state, announced by Premier Anastasia Palaszczuk a few months ago. Our main job is to inspire our students to aspire to a health career. One way that we will do this is through the development of a $600,000 health training facility that will be built next year. Another major partnership was signed in November. We are now a Gateways to Industry School for Information, Communication and Technology. Once again, we are forging a partnerships with industry to best position our students to gain entrance into the IT industry. Information, communication and technology is one of the best areas in our college. Our programs and expertise of teaching staff is recognised Australia-wide. With technology, the college has continued to invest wisely with additional smart boards across P7, SEP, mathematics and the IT departments. The new virtual reality room incorporated into our flexi space has added a new dimension of transferable perspective to enhance our student learning. In 2021, the college will be completely upgrading its wireless capability which will improve our drive towards every student owning a laptop computer for education in the future. The Bentley Park College community has every right to feel proud of the high-end technology available for teaching and learning from prep through to Year 12. To our departing Year 12 students, I wish you all the best for the future. You are the first cohort of students to complete the new Queensland Certificate of Education, including ATAR. It has been an absolute delight for staff to watch you grow over the years and become the fine, upstanding citizens that you are. In the very different year that was, you have risen to the challenge and achieved your goals. I look forward to hearing about your endeavours in the future and hope that you can come back one day to inspire the next generation of students. I would like to especially thank the college captains, Zaria, Aisha, Claudia and Isaac, for being the fine examples of the College Pillars of Excellence. Finally, I'd like to thank all college staff for their outstanding work this year. Going above and beyond is what we do, and it is an absolute pleasure to lead this fine institution, and I'm very much looking forward to the year 2021. Thank you.
This year, the ATAR and brand new senior secondary curriculum was launched across Queensland. The class of 2020 set to graduate on Friday after what could be described as a very interesting year. 19 year 12s have already accepted early offers to study at JCU, CQ, the University of Sunshine Coast, Australian Catholic University and the Australian Defence Force Academy. Many year 12s are completing or have completed school-based traineeships and apprenticeships, with this program expanding further in 2020 to involve 40 senior secondary students who are signed up through various outside organisations. Bentley Park College will be the first health gateway to industry school in Queensland, which is a partnership between the Health Department and Checkup Australia, and will enable our students to progress through traineeships in health industry at all levels. To smooth the pathway between primary and secondary school, our Year 6 students visited the secondary sector for one lesson each week, with students from local feeder schools Isabella and Hambledon attending full transition days where they participated in specialist robotics, science, cooking and art classes. Falling under the technology pillar of excellence, our new purpose-built virtual reality room, incorporated into the new flexi space in JBlock, is designed to enhance and enrich learning across the curriculum. Our well-established one-to-one laptop program is available for students from years 3 to 10, referred to as Tech Express in primary and academic excellence classes in secondary. Prep to Year 2 students are extended through the Enrichment at Bentley program. This year, online enrichment in critical thinking, STEM, literacy and numeracy has also been undertaken by selected students in primary and secondary through the Impact Centre. Technology studies are augmented by extracurricular robotics and drone clubs. Smart, interactive panels are installed in every primary, Year 7 and special education program classroom as well as ICT and maths classrooms, and from 2021, all PrEP students will have access to their own tablet device. Term 2 looked quite different from any other term on record, involving mostly learning at home for PrEP to Year 12 students, with the continuity of learning packs mailed home to all students and OneNote class notebook offering lessons online. During this time, our partnership with the college community went from strength to strength and we engaged more than ever through electronic learning and communications, such as videos on social media. The support from parents and carers during learning at home has been immeasurable and we thank them for their support during 2020. the Year 5 to 12 Academic Gold and Silver Awards. Academic Silver Awards goes to the students in Years 5 to 12 who have achieved a grade point average of 4.0 or better, meaning they are a B average across all subjects studied this year. Academic Gold Awards goes to students who have achieved a grade point average of 4.5 or better, meaning they have achieved in the A range for at least 50% of their subjects this year. The top student in each subject in years 7 to 9 achieving an A, years 10 to 12 receiving at least a B, and year 6 Mandarin Chinese also received top of subject awards. We would now like to invite Mr. Stefan Boropat, Head of Department Primary, to announce the year 5 and 6 academic awards. He will be joined by Mr. Rod Jackson, Head of School Primary, who will be congratulating the award recipients. The Year 5 Academic Award winners are Christopher Caracciolo, Silver Sam Freeland, Silver Mahala Levitz, Silver Heather Marks, Silver Alexandra Meyer, Silver Mark Mulford, Gold. Wyatt Newell, Gold. 
Mary Passy, silver. Joel Pelz, silver. Lovely Ramirez, silver. Kriana Lee Rapana, silver. Latoya Tao, silver. Leo Tao, silver. Joshua Tidigon, silver. Akamo Bakawi Paolo, silver. Liliana Van Gul, silver. Yanghua Vu, silver. Well done to our Year 5 Academic Award recipients. The Year 6 Academic Award winners are Tiffany Heyman, silver. Shanti Levers, silver. Nicholas Martin, silver. Diana Nguyen, silver. Violet Supreme, silver. Roman Wallace Air, silver. Irina Vu, silver. And top of subject, Mandarin Chinese. Congratulations to our Year 6 Academic Award winners. This year we're excited to announce our primary captains for 2021 as part of our presentation ceremony. This is a new tradition for our college. Our 2020 primary captains, Deanna Castles and Nicholas Martin, will assist Mr Jackson in congratulating the new captains and hand over the Bentley Park College Leadership Mace. So, the Bentley Park College Captains for 2021 are... Heather Marks. And Mark Mulford. These students were elected by their peers and teachers and will make excellent 2021 primary captains next year. We thank Diana and Nicholas for their great leadership this year. Thank you, Mr. Parapat and Mr. Jackson. Congratulations to our primary academic silver and gold award winners and our primary captains for 2021. Award winners are Skyler Barthol, Silver, Nina Beach, Gold, Hunter Bell Fitzgerald, Silver, Gemma Bennett Brewster, Gold, Top of Subject Health and Physical Education, Claire Bennington, Silver, Katie Mae Brooks, Gold, top of subject English, top of subject Mandarin Chinese. Tilly Brooks, top of subject Media Arts. Kelly Bowman, Silver. Jack Carter, Gold. Alyssa Chang, Silver. Emily Chang, top of subject Home Economics. Caitlin Cullen, Gold, top of subject Science. Tyler J. Danielson, Silver. Jonathan Dean, Gold, Top of Subject, Health and Physical Education. Akalili Fileka, Top of Subject, Dance. Byron Green, Silver. Harrison Guerra, Silver. Zara Hallett, Silver. Shaylee Haynes, Silver, Top of Subject, Media Arts. 
Richard Jacob, top of subject, manual arts. Sydney Laifu, top of subject, visual arts. Abel Law, gold. Laura Lakesi Jenki, gold. Augustine Nanua, silver. Ashley Newman Thomas, silver, top of subject, Mandarin Chinese. Harrison Newman, silver. Jake Ryan Gyaro, gold, and top of subject, robotics. Kiara Pierce, silver. Erica Pounds, silver. Harper Rich, silver. William Sloan, silver. Sebastian Thompson, silver. Hannah Tynan, gold, top of subject, digital technologies, top of subject, humanities and social sciences. Siam Yuli, silver, and top of subject, mathematics. Imogen Walker, gold, top of subject, music. Jai Waring, silver. Felicity Tao, silver, top of subject, Chinese Mandarin. Abby Ward, silver, top of subject, Chinese Mandarin. Congratulations to the E7 Academic Award winners. The Year 8 Academic Award winners are Marley Baston, silver. Rebecca Bowman, silver. Brayden Kumpelang, top of subject, music. Sajania Creed, silver. Clayton Daly, top of subject, rugby league. Adam Drake, silver. Teresa Emilio, silver, top of subject, netball. Xander Glasson, silver. Kaya Hart, silver. Shelby Rose Harris, gold, top of subject, music. Scarlett Heron, gold. Jane Johnson, silver. Annalise Lee, gold, top of subject Mandarin Chinese, top of subject manual arts. Isaac Miller, top of subject robotics. Michaela Osborne, silver. Madison Phillips, silver. Kamal Pickering, silver. Natalie Pittman, gold, Top of subject, English, History, Humanities and Social Sciences and Mathematics. Trinity Sigigi, Silver. Precious Simeona, Gold. Zach Staska, Silver. Haley Story, Gold. Top of subject, Science. Top of subject, Food and Nutrition. Tyrone Sylvester, silver. Dawson Terrari, silver. Top of subject, dance. Top of subject, health and physical education. David Terrari George, silver. Amity Travoa, gold. Top of subject, Mandarin Chinese. Esther Tynan, silver. Grace Vanden Herrick, gold. Sorry, also top of subject, health and physical education. Benjamin Van Gul, top of subject, design and technologies, top of subject, digital technologies. Me View, gold, top of subject, media arts. Kaya Wellam, gold, top of subject, drama. Well done to all the Year 8 Academic Award winners. Looking forward to a great 2021.
It's been my pleasure to watch the following students commit to achieving success. These students take on feedback and apply it to excel in their learning areas. The following Year 9 Academic Award recipients are Imogen Baxter, Silver Aidan Beach, Silver, Top of Subject, Rugby League Matthew Dent, Gold, Top of Subject, Health and Physical Education, Top of Subject, Manual Arts Brayden Douglas, Silver Megan Friedrich, Gold, Top of Subject, History, Top of Subject, Humanities and Social Sciences and Top of Subject, Science Zoe Hall, Silver. Madeline Hansen, Silver, Top of Subject, Music. Namphon Hattam, Top of Subject, Health and Physical Education. Almira Hine, Gold. Riley Hunter, Gold, Top of Subject, Robotics. Joseph Kelso, Gold. Sabria Kennedy, Silver, Top of Subject, English. G. Lee, Gold. Patrick Martin, Gold. Jamea Myers, Silver. Priya Montero, Gold. Kelly Moa, Silver, Top of Subject, Dance, Top of Subject, Music. Madison Neal, Silver, and Top of Subject, Film and Television. Lisa Pogazelski, Gold. Ava Smith, Silver, Top of Subject, Food and Nutrition. Lakina Thatch, Gold, and Top of Subject, Music. Top of Subject, Visual Arts. Storm Vanderkam, Gold. Montana Walker, Silver, Robbie Ward, Silver, and Top of Subject, Design and Technology. Nick Zhong, Silver. Congratulations to the 32 Year 9 students formally recognised for exceeding above the expectations here at Bentley Park College. I feel very fortunate this year to be able to fill in for Miss Hayley Thomas as Year 10 Coordinator in Term 4. Over the term, I've had many opportunities to celebrate some of the successes of these amazing students within this cohort, and I'd like to take this opportunity to wish all of the students in Year 10 all the best for heading into their senior subjects in 2021. The Year 10 Academic Award winners are Isaac Brooks, Gold, Top of Subject, Health and Physical Education. Regan Cooper Swain, Gold, Top of Subject Drama, Introduction to Hospitality, Film and Television. Mark Dela Cruz, Gold. Kiana Effort, Silver. Charlotte Green, Gold. Peter Horman, Silver. Danielle Johnson, Gold. Top of subject, science extension. Edward King, gold. Reuben Clarson, gold. Elizabeth Lee, silver. Top of subject, design and technologies. Kayla Lucchesi Jenke, gold. Top of subject, English. Talia McLeod, silver. Jasmine Medhurst, Gold. Kira Maloney, top of subject, food and nutrition. Lachlan Moore, gold. Lola Newell, gold, and top of subject, introduction to early childhood studies. Haley Osborne, silver. Gracious Simeona, gold, and top of subject, music. Dan Starska, Gold. Dean Story, Silver. Top of subject, Introduction to Construction Studies. Aidan Sidi, Gold. Top of subject, Digital Technologies, 
mathematics, mathematics extension, and science. Katrina Lejeune, gold. Top of subject, history. Top of subject, humanities and social sciences. Congratulations to all of the Year 10 Academic Award winners. In the year of great changes in the delivery of curriculum and using technology and the process of learning at home, the challenge of completing subjects void of face-to-face -face learning to students, they showed a great discipline and resilience. Then, to go on and excel in difficult times, well done to these students and well done to all of the Year 11 cohort. Congratulations to those who achieved their recognition today and have gone on to do great success in their academic subjects. The Year 11 Academic Award winners are Ladbrook Baster, Top of Subject, Sport and Recreation. Piper Bishop, Top of Subject, Dance. Chloe Bloomfield, Silver, a Top of Subject in Certificate 2 in Hospitality and Early Childhood Studies. Phoebe Bone, Top of Subject, Tourism. Talia Carkett, Top of Subject, Essential English. Erin Curtis, Silver. Daryl Daylight Clark, Top of Subject, Visual Arts in Practice. Jenna Dyer, Top of Subject, Social and Community Studies. David Hunter, Gold, Top of Subject in Certificate Four in Screen and Media, Chemistry, English, Digital Solutions, Mathematics Methods and Physics. Padachia Lee, Silver, Ashley Linneman Silver, Gabriel Magsalen Silver, Top of Subject Biology and Legal Studies. Nicholas Mariani Silver, Top of Subject English and Science in Practice. Jasmine Matthews Silver, Top of Subject Ancient History and Modern History. Nicola No, top of subject, design. Chantal Yugen, top of subject, certificate two in health and support services. India Osborne, silver, top of subject, drama. Max Pogazelski, top of subject, certificate two in fitness and engineering skills. Gian Sabatino, top of subject, hospitality practices. Aidan Scottney, silver, top of subject, building and construction skills, furnishing skills, and industrial technology skills. May Vu, top of subject, fashion. Eve Wheatland, silver. Kieran Withers, Silver, Top of Subject, Aquatic Practices, General Mathematics and Physical Education. Congratulations to all the Year 11 Academic Award winners. Well done. Okay, next up we have our Year 12s. Uh, our award winners this year have all worked exceptionally hard this year and received top of subject or an academic effort award. Um, all award recipients are excellent students and I wish them all the best in their future. The year 12 academic award winners are Alyssa Anning, top of subject for tourism. Ashley Barnard, silver achievement, top of subject for certificate two hospitality, early childhood studies and fashion. Rowan Bartholomew's Wormsley, Top of subject, music in practice. Zaria Chang, silver award. Top of subject for biology, English, music, and music extension. Michelle Clark, silver award. 
Top of subject for film, television and new media and sport and recreation. Georgia Cooper Swain, Silver Award, top of subject for dance and essential maths. Layla Andres, top of subject, drama, legal studies and general mathematics. Rihanna Fluellen, Silver Academic Award. Justin Hastings, Gold Academic Award, top of subject for certificate four in screen and media, design, digital solutions, mathematics methods and physics. Edward Horman, Gold Achievement, top of subject for building and construction skills and essential English. Tamara Kerr, Silver Achievement, top of subject, hospitality practices. Aisha Khan, top of subject for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander studies. Alexia Laws, Silver Achievement, top of subject for visual arts in practice. Jacob Miller, top of subject, general mathematics. Caitlin Murray, top of subject, drama. Jai O'Rourke, silver achievement, top of subject, furnishing skills. Lachlan Rayson, silver achievement, top of subject, certificate two in sport and recreation. Jade Stevens, silver award, top of subject for dance in practice. Jessica Stone, Silver Award, Top of Subject, Engineering Skills. Amber Story, Top of Subject, Tourism. Tina Tatupu, a Silver Academic Award. Kayla Thompson, Gold Academic Award. Top of Subject, Ancient History, Biology, Chemistry and Physical Education. Kong Vu, Silver Academic Award. Top of subject for industrial technology skills. Ronan Wolf, top of subject for media arts in practice. And Carrie Ann Yukong, top of subject for social and community studies. Congratulations to the Year 12 Academic Award winners. Thank you. exciting moments of our presentation ceremony each year is the announcement of our college captains for the following year. Please welcome Mr. Stuart Edwards, Head of School Secondary, and Mr. Bruce Houghton, College Principal, to announce and congratulate the 2021 college captains. Our for 2020 college captains, Zaria, Asia, Claudia and Isaac, will now assist Mr. Houghton and I in announcing the 2021 college captains and presenting them with their blazers. The 2021 Bentley Park college captains are Nick Clark. David Hunter. <laughs> India Osborne Wilson. <laughs> and Jasmine Matthews. The outgoing captain will now hand over the Bentley Park College leadership mace to the incoming captains. College has a long tradition of strong athleticism, healthy rivalry and great sportsmanship. 
Unfortunately, 2020 did not turn out to be the sporting year we were hoping for, with most inter-house and representative sport cancelled as a COVID-19 health precaution. Despite this, there were still a number of sporting experiences that students will look back on fondly. Our primary sector held their prep to year two and years three to six sports days in September. They were excellent events allowing maximum participation, fun and athletic competition. Congratulations to the yellow team, Houston, who were the primary champion house of 2020, followed by Arlington, Upolo and Onyx. The winners of the House Cup, celebrating the team with the most students in their sports uniform and hat on sports day, was the blue team, Arlington. A rainy colour run was the highlight of our 2020 Sporting Spirit Carnival on the last day of Term 3. The focus was firmly on the Year 12s at their final high school sports carnival, with Year 7 to 11 students forming a guard of honour for them to start the colour run. Congratulations to the red team, Onyx, winning the Shield for the first time ever in secondary. Back in Term 1, the Gold Coast Suns AFL and WAFL players conducted a skill development session with, te- with members of the senior AFL team. With what was an interesting year of sports, all schoolboys rugby league competitions were pushed back to later in the year, which was a great opportunity for all students to have an extra time to learn and improve on their rugby league skills. Our open side displayed moments of brilliance throughout their competition with some standout performances. A highlight was their annual trip to Townsville to play in the Catalano Cup against Thurangawa State High School. The first stop was a nine-a-side game against Innisfail State College, walking away off a narrow five tries to four with, with a win on the buzzer. The boys then enjoyed a night of camping at Mission Beach before setting off to Townsville to retain the cup in a convincing 28-18 win. Unfortunately, we could not line up a Cowboys NRL game for this trip, but I think they were just as happy coming home with two big wins under their belt. Although our netball teams have not been able to participate in all their usual events this year, in Term 1, our under-12, under-15 and under-19 teams played in the Trinity Coast South Gala Day. It was an excellent day of enthusiasm and pride shown by all players and a number selected in the TCS team. The teams also competed in the Fowler's Cup Netball Carnival. Year 8 netball students travelled to Yarraba to play in a beach netball competition against Yarraba State School and the Diamond Spirit students from Cairns High School. It was a perfect weather with the waves and the sun on full display as the games were played. The year 8 girls were undefeated against the students until they played a team of teachers who became the final champions of the day. Secondary Rugby League and netball teams competed in the third annual Bentley Sevens tournament hosted by the college on Friday 6th of November. After a very quiet year, it was a fantastic opportunity for the Bentley Crusaders to enjoy some competitive sport against their peers from Abinda State High School, Cairns State High School, Innisfail State College, Gordonville State High School, Smithfield State High School, Warri State High School and St Mary's Catholic College. Sports Silver Awards recognise students from years 5 to 12 who have represented the Peninsula region or equivalent, or have been selected as a shadow for a Peninsula team. Aiden Beach. Ashley Johnson. Lachlan Brazen. Congratulations to our Sports Award winners. Two thousand and twenty was a quiet year for the arts, as performing opportunities at events like the Big Night Out, Anzac Day, Canton District Junior Steadford, Fanfare, Madness, and Play On were all cancelled due to COVID nineteen restrictions. Although the concert band's only public performance was at College Leaders in Year 12 induction ceremony in February, our college community were still able to share some sweet music. Video recordings of the Australian and New Zealand national anthems were included in our Anzac Day video, with band students also playing the last post on their driveways at dawn on Anzac Day. We linked with PCYC Safer Communities to provide the Everyone Deserves Music program for selected secondary students in Term 1. Students experience singing, rhythm guitar, songwriting, and performance each week, culminating in a special lunchtime performance. Thank you to local singer-songwriter Adrian Thomas, who was the music mentor. There was another collaboration in Term 1 with Adrian Thomas when Bentley Dance students featured in the video for his song Heaven on Earth, which was written for Earth Day this year. The dancers work with choreographer Tamara Pearson to prepare for the video. Students were delighted to perform for over 40 delegates at the Far North Queensland Regional Community Forum hosted by the Honourable Curtis Pitt MP, held at the college in August. 
A highlight of the visitors were performances by the Percussion Ensemble and Year 9 Dance Group, who performed an ever-popular Bollywood number. Local artists Amanda McGahn and Gabby Sturman visited our Year 10, 11 and 12 visual art class in Term 3 to conduct multiple ceramic sculpture workshops, ranging from construction to facial expressions to underglazing. Energy is an annual showcase of visual arts, produced by students across far north Queensland. Held at the Tanks Art Centre, this exhibition features a range of artworks from the best young and emerging artists of our region. A number of our students explored contemporary street culture in the form of skate decks that were part of the exhibition. In Term 4, the College Band filmed a piece for the Online Australian School Band and Orchestra Festival and also recorded the National Anthem for our presentation ceremony. The Primary Choir are currently rehearsing a Christmas carol that will be filmed and shared with our college community via social media in December. We cannot wait to see more great performances from our art students next year. I'm thrilled to be presenting the Arts Awards to students who have shown outstanding or significant contribution of their time, energy and talents in various performing and artistic opportunities at the college this year. Each one of them contributes to the colour and experiences of life at the college. The Arts Silver Awards go to students who have been recognised for their high attendance, effort and time spent to participate in the arts activities. The year 5 to 12 Silver Award winners for the Arts are Hunter Bell Fitzgerald, Kelly Bowman, Rebecca Bowman, Alyssa Chang, Imogen Dingwall, Cameron Flett, Zara Hallett, Jarvis Heron, David Hunter, Riley Hunter, Edward King, Loveland Copiap, Claudia Lever, Abel Law, Lillian Pereira, Erica Pelms, Natalia Pittman, Isabella Soderman, Kayla Thompson, Clara Walker, and Jai Waring. The Arts Gold Awards go to students who have been recognised for their significantly high attendance, effort and time spent in a multitude of arts and cultural activities. The Year 5 to 12 Gold Award recipients in the Arts are Imogen Baxter, Claire Binnington, Brandon Brooks, Isaac Brooks, Zaria Chang, Jonathan Dent, Matthew Dent, Sam Freeland, Ruben Klassen, Mark Mulford, Patrick Martin, Kelly Moore, Lola Newell, Wyatt Newell, Lisa Pogolzelski, Max Pogolzelski, Irina Vu, Imogen Walker. Congratulations to our silver and gold award winners.
Although 2020 has not been a usual type of year, students and staff have pulled together to make the most of a challenging situation. This year, our former college principal, Mr Peter Krugel, officially retired after more than 40 years of service to the Queensland community and was farewelled with a presentation in a January. He was the college's longest serving principal to date, arriving back in 2012. We pay tribute to Mr Krugel for his contribution to the college and congratulate Mr Bruce Houghton on his appointment as permanent college principal after acting in the role. At the end of 2019, students, staff and community members received training in the Resilience Project, or TRP, from the Melbourne-based team. This year, at the college, every student across P-12 learnt mod modules from TRP around the GEM priorities of gratitude, empathy and mindfulness. In December 2019, Year 12 student Catherine Pryke travelled to Cambodia with a group of eight others on a two-week volunteer expedition with Camps International. A number of our students are now poised for a simil similar adventure to Borneo in December 2021. Year 12 senior leaders attended the GRIP Student Leadership Conference at the Pullman Reef Hotel Casino in February. Student Students attending were involved in interactive and motivational sessions and were given the opportunity to network with leaders from eight different schools from around the Cairns region. Our Year 12 leaders held a Valentine's Day fundraiser selling roses to students and staff and raising almost $500 for the senior legacy item. Senior, secondary and primary leaders were formally inducted and the Year 12 cohort sworn in as 2020 seniors in February. Junior secondary captains and leaders were later inducted on year-level parades in Term 3. The primary captains for 2020 were Diana Castles and Nicholas Martin. The junior secondary captains were Cody Brooks, Mishana McMahon, Patrick Martin and Nam Fon Hattam. And the college captains were Isaac Watago Morgan, Zaria Chang, Aisha Khan and Claudia Lever. We held our first Southside Community Come and Try Expo in February, where sports, arts and community groups converged out on our student centre to give our students a taste of after-school activities in our local community and how to get involved. Year 7s enjoyed a camp to Mungali Falls in Term 1, including observation and appreciation of flora and fauna, and challenging outdoor activities like archery, team rough building and the famous landsliding. Year 9s travelled to Quinola Lakes at the end of Term 3 for their peer mentoring camp. Next year, they will support Year 7s as they transition to secondary school. There is a proud history of developing the Anzac spirit through primary, secondary and Edmonton community ceremonies in the lead up to Anzac Day. This year, we instead produced a video presentation to share with the college community, narrated by the college captains Isaac, Aisha, Zaria and Claudia, so we could still acknowledge this significant occasion. Across the country, at 6am on Anzac Day, people took to their driveways and balconies to pay their respects. Members of the college band played the last post to mark the occasion. For Remembrance Day, cadets observed one minute silence at the College Anzac Memorial Plaque. National Reconciliation Week was celebrated at the college from the 27th of May to the 3rd of June. Students created a chain of footprints during lunch times, stretching from the primary to the secondary sector. Primary students also decorated paper hands and secondary stu students and staff participated in dot painting activities. The FNQ Regional Community Forum was held in our primary library in August, bringing together 40 delegates including MPs, Curtis Pitt, Kate Jones, Craig Crawford, Cynthia Louie and Ma Michael Healy. Our primary, junior, secondary and college captains enjoyed hosting the visitors on a college tour, which showcased some of our pillars of excellence, including the arts and technology. There was great feedback from the guests, who seemed to really enjoy experiencing the innovations and programs and left with a great impression of the college. Even without dancing, the Year 12 Under the Stars Formal, held at the Pullman Reef Hotel Casino on Friday the 4th of September, was thoroughly enjoyed by all, with the arrivals live streamed for family and friends to view. 99 Year 12s will graduate from Bentley Park College this Friday, 20 of them Bentley Originals, students who have been at the college since prep. Students are looking forward to the traditional Guard of Honour reaching from primary to secondary made up of prep to Year 11 students, followed by the graduation ceremony. 
Resilient is a word that sums up the class of 2020. Even with the many disruptions this year, they have pulled together and made it a year to remember. Citizenship Silver Awards are presented to students in secondary who have volunteered at the college and in the community and or represented the college across a variety of activities. The Citizenship Silver Awards go to Hunter Bell Fitzgerald, Mercedes Brennan, Katie Mae Brooks, Andrew Bowman, Rebecca Bowman, Alyssa Chang, Kiana Effort, Shaylee Haynes, Felicity Hesselwood, David Hunter, Loveland Kopiak, Lola Newell, Aina Toller, Grace Vandenherrick, Clara Walker, and Kaya Wellam. Citizenship Gold Awards are presented to students who have significantly volunteered at the college and in the community and or represented the college across an extensive range of activities. The Citizenship Gold Awards go to Gemma Bennett Brewster, Claire Bennington, Chloe Bloomfield, Isaac Brooks, Cody Brooks, Zaria Chang, Michelle Clark, Nick Clark, Georgia Cooper Swain, Chantel Cullinan, Joshua Douglas, Leila Andres, Byron Green, Charlotte Green, Justin Hastings, Matthew Hastings, Nanfong Hatton, Aisha Khan, Annalise Lee, Elizabeth Lee, Claudia Lever, Patrick Martin, Jasmine Matthews, Mishana McMahon, Lachlan Mort, India Osborne, Kiara Pierce, Rylan Pettigrew, Max Pogazowski, Catherine Pryke, Ariana Tyre, Kayla Thompson, Tiana Schmidt, Hayley Story, Isaac Wadigo Morgan,
Eve Wheatland, and Katrina, and Katrina Jong. Congratulations to our Gold Award recipients on their outstanding contribution to citizenship at the college. We are constantly inspired by the new students at Bentley Park College as they hold the future of our culture and our fellow students and staff who support our journeys. We would like to thank the combined efforts of the Indigenous Leaders of Tomorrow and the Indigenous Leaders for the Future programs for their continuous support and organisation of school events over many years. Although we are unable to hold all our usual events in 2020, the College celebrated National Reconciliation Week from 27th of May to the 3rd of June. According to the Reconciliation Australia, our theme for National Reconciliation Week 2020, In This Together, is now resonating in ways we would not have foreseen when we announced it last year, but it reminds us whether in a crisis or in reconciliation, we are all in this together. We would like to thank the Bentley Park College Clontarf Academy. With Clontarf, young Indigenous men across Australia have a chance to become better men. Clontarf's help with any anything you could ask for, from morning pickups to helping kids in class, and we are, and are always happy to help around the school and local community. As part of Clontarf, students participated in numerous community events and programs such as Australia's Biggest Morning Tea, Cairns Regional Council Painting Program, and Garden Project and Clean Up Australia Day. Congratulations to the 13 graduating students who are Quatsa Scholarship recipients, a fund drawn from interest earned on the original capital provided to the public trustee that was built from the labour of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Queenslanders. Quatsif provides a direct benefit for the generations that follow and will always stand as a permanent and positive legacy for the future. Congratulations to the 2020 leaders, Judah and Now and Preston Akiba. We look forward to meeting next year's leaders and wish the very best for the next generation. We are concluding our 2020 presentation ceremony with our special awards, which fall under our pillars of excellence, academia, citizenship, the arts, sport and technology. Thank you to the special guests who are in attendance today to present these prestigious awards to their recipients, whose names have not been released prior to the ceremony. It is my great pleasure to present the academic special awards for 2020. I'd firstly like to invite to the stage Lion Jeff Pizzuti of the Lions Club of Edmonton as we announce the Primary Ducks Award. The Lions Club of Edmonton generously sponsor our Primary Ducks and College Ducks Awards each year. Due to the introduction of the ATAR and the timing of external exams, full year 12 results have not yet been released, so our 2020 College Ducks will be announced early next year. The Primary Ducks Award is presented to the overall highest achiever in year six, and this year that is Ruben Ballarat Naz Ingham. Ruben is not able to be with us today, but Ruben is a dedicated student who consistently strives to succeed achieving outstanding results in English, mathematics and science. He has also earned high marks in all other subjects. Ruben has worked hard to earn this award, seeking feedback to improve in his academic work. He always has a wonderful attitude and enjoys challenging himself with his learning goals. Congratulations Ruben on a fantastic year and this outstanding achievement. Ruben receives a prize of $200 from the Lions Club of Edmonton and thank you to Lion Pizzuti and the Lions Club for sponsoring our Ducks Awards and their ongoing generous support of the college. And we look forward to announcing our college Ducks in the near future who will receive a $300 prize. And as soon as Ruben is feeling better, we'll ensure that he receives uh, his award and we'll make sure that we connect Reuben with you if that's okay, Mr. Pizzuti as well. Uh, and we very much appreciate your ongoing support for the college through the Lions Club Edmonton. Thank you so much.
Our next series of awards, the JCU Shields, are new for 2020. I would now like to invite Mr. Orr Thomason, Team Leader Schools at James Cook University, to present the JCU Shields. In years nine and 10, Shields are awarded to the student who has achieved the highest results across English, maths and science. In year 11 and 12, Shields are awarded to the student who has achieved the highest results across their general subjects, contributing to an ATAR based on units one and two for year 11 and unit three for year 12. The JCU Shield for Year 9 is awarded to Megan Friedrich. The JCU Shield for Year 10 is awarded to Aiden Seidy. The JCU Shield for Year 11 is awarded to David Hunter. And the JCU Shield for Year 12 is awarded to Justin Hastings. Each student receives a prize of $100. Thank you, Mr. Thomason and JCU for the sponsorship of the JCU Shields. I now invite Ms. Chris Smolder, Associate Lecturer, School of Access Education at CQ University, to present the CQ Uni Connect Award to a year 12 student who has shown academic improvement over the past year. Congratulations to Kayla Thompson, the recipient of the CQ Uni Connect Award. Kayla receives a $100 prize. Kayla was a member of our college leadership team band captain and house captain of Apollo. She was top of subject for biology, chemistry, ancient history and physical education and next year plans on commencing a Bachelor of Paramedic Science. Thank you to Ms. Smolder and CQ University for sponsoring this award. I now invite Mr. Neville Raids uh, an Indigenous mentor on behalf of QITE to present the QITE Quiet Achiever Bursaries, which are awarded to Indigenous students who are working hard to achieve their best in senior secondary. The Year 10 recipient is Talia McLeod, and the Year 11 recipient is Kira Wright. These students each receive a $150 prize. Talia was awarded with the Gold Academic Award this year, whilst Kira has been prominent representative in the STEM Girl Power Program. Thank you, Mr. Rees and QITE for the bursary. I now move on to our awards for senior secondary students who have shown high aptitude, application and dedication in areas of vocational education. I now invite Warren, Apprenticeships Field Consultant for MEGT, to present the MEGT Trainee of the Year Award. This award is presented to a student in Year 10, 11 or 12, who has excelled in their trade industry or vocational educational field through the completion of a school-based apprenticeship. The NGT Trainee of the Year is Mick Clark.
Nick has completed a school-based traineeship with KFC, during which he completed a certificate three in hospitality. His trainer from Club Training Australia identified that she will miss having Nick in her class due to his enthusiasm and proactiveness throughout the course. We are grateful for the support from KFC and the mentorship they have provided. Well done, Nick. It was one a prize of a $100 gift card and thank you to Warren and MEGT for your support of this Vocational Excellence Award. I now invite Mr. Jason Dent, Business Consultant with MRail, to present the MRail Apprentice of the Year Award. This award is presented to a student in year 10, 11 or 12 who has excelled in their trade, industry or vocational leadership field through the completion of a school-based apprenticeship. The MRail Apprentice of the Year is Matthew Hastings. Matthew secured a highly sought after school-based apprenticeship with Toucan Electrics. He has successfully balanced a challenging workload with a number of ATAR subjects at school with his work placement and TAFE training for his Certificate 3 in Electrotechnology. That is his second year that Matthew has achieved this award. Matthew has won a $100 prize. We thank MRail for their support of this Vocational Excellence Award. Congratulations, Matthew, and thank you, Jason, for presenting. Our industry liaison officer, Mr. Dan Ganau, will now present the TAFE Queensland North TAFE at School Award on behalf of TAFE Queensland North. Congratulations to Edward Howman, the recipient of this award. Edward has inspired his peers with his high level of attention to detail in the work that he produces. Edward is of a quiet nature and has a strength in encouraging others around him as he methodically produces quality outcomes. He has a healthy willingness to learn new skills to improve his professional development in the automotive industry. We look forward to seeing Edward transfer the skills and knowledge he has learned and developed to pave the way for a lucrative career. I invite Ms. Shinika Gaia, Vocational Partnership Group, to, re to present the BPG Vocational Student of the Year Award. The recipient for 2020 is Justin Hastings. <laughs> Justin has invested much time and energy in his senior schooling. Not only has he been the highest achiever in several subjects, he has also excelled in his vet achievements. Justin has achieved a very prestigious Certificate 4 in Screen and Media which VPC is one of the very few high schools to offer. And he has also achieved a certificate two in information, digital media and technologies. All of Justin's assessments were completed to a very high standard and he achieved all of his competencies first in his class, which is why he is our VPG student of 2020. Well done, Justin, and thank you to this guy and VPG for the sponsorship of this award. Bennett Park College is a leading high school in digital technology, not only in Cairns but in the whole state, with technology making up one of our five pillars of excellence. I'd now like to invite Head of Department ICT, Mr Power Capel, to the, present the Excellence in Technology Award which is presented to a student who has excelled in the technology subjects, which include information technology systems, information processing and technology, 
Information Communication Technology, Certificate 4 in Screen and Media and Cisco, Cisco CCNA. This year's Excellence in Technology Award winner is Justin Hastings. <laughs> Justin has finished his Year 12 schooling at the top of all senior IT subjects. In Digital Solutions, Justin was one of the few students in the region to demonstrate a very high standard of work. In design, Justin's, Justin has excelled similarly despite his claim of not being a good designer. While completing his senior schooling, Justin has completed two modules at the university course through QCU, gaining high distinctions. Justin has also completed vocational qualifications, such as our Certificate 4 in Screen and Media, and Certificate 2 in Information, Digital Media and Technology. Justin has also demonstrated his skills through work for a local web design and development company. Thank you, Mr. Capel, and thank you and congratulations, Justin. Well done. The North Point Power and Data Technology Encouragement Award goes to a senior secondary student who has demonstrated academic ability, made an outstanding contribution in local, state or national competitions, and to activities and projects that relate strongly to class-related skills. The North Point Power and Data Technology Encouragement Award for 2020 goes to Edward King. Edward is a true all-rounder. Not only is he a very high achiever in design and technology, in digital technology, but he also excels in the arts, maths, science and English. Edward is on the road to a successful career in the IT industry, either as a designer, developer, programmer or systems manager. Edward will continue his work towards a university pathways during his senior years in our IT subjects. Congratulations, Edwards, and thank you, Mr. Capel and North Point Power for sponsoring the Technology Encouragement Award. Thank you. Sport is another one of the five pillars of excellence, and I now invite Mr. Brenton Moorhead, Deputy Principal, Junior Secondary, to announce the Sports Special Awards. While there hasn't been the usual inter-house and inter-school sport events in 2020, there have been students across the college who have represented Peninsula uh, our region and or Trinity Coast South and have been active in school sport, displaying leadership, fair play, sporting behaviour on and off the field. The first award for our sports person of the year, I invite Mr. Jeff Pizzuti uh, to present the recipients. Mr. Pizzuti is a former Cairns councillor and has sponsored these awards for many years. Our male primary sports person of the year is Micah Garochi. Unfortunately, our female primary person of the sports person of the year was un unable to attend. Micah excelled in his athletics this year, earning the BPC Athletics Carnival Age Champion title on the sports day for the Year 11 boys. He also completed well in basketball, selected in the Trinity Coast South team for trial for Peninsula representation. The Junior Secondary Sports Person of the Year is Aidan Beach. The Year 9 student Aidan is, Aidan is a keen participant in our, in our sports excellence program. A cricket lover, he made the 13 to 15 years Peninsula Cricket Team this year and has also played 
inter-school cricket against Gordon Vale State High School. Aiden is part of the Rugby League Academy, competing in a Cowboy Challenge and inter-school games against War East State High School. The Senior Secondary Sports Person of the Year is Lachlan Rayson. <laughs> Lachlan has been part of the Rugby League Academy for many years. This year voted best and fairest. He played in the Cairns Schoolboy Rugby League competition um, and the Catalana Cup in Townsville. He refereed the Year 7 meet and greet Bentley um, games and was part of the Bentley Sevens matches. Early in the year, Lachlan was also selected in the 16 to 18 years Peninsula Rugby League team. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Zuni, for your ongoing support of our Sports Person of the Year Awards, and congratulations to Micah, Aiden, and Lachlan. Ms. Holly Thomas, Head of Department for HPE, will now present the Olympic Change Maker Awards. These awards recognise and reward students who are demonstrating the Olympic spirit through leadership and driving positive change within their communities. Congratulations to Year 12 students Michelle Clark and Kayla Thompson, Olympic Change Makers for 2020. Both Michelle and Kayla have been involved in athletics at a school representative level and club level for many years and have been active leadership um, sport people within the college for 2020. Congratulations to Kayla and Michelle and thank you Ms Thomas for presenting the Olympic Change Maker Awards. I would now like to invite Ms Fiona Johnson, Head of Department of the Arts, to present the Art Special Awards. As one of our pillars of excellence, the arts encapsulates the study of music, visual art, dance, drama and media. Throughout the year, there are students whose dedication to the arts within the college stand them in a league of their own. These students are recognised as the primary junior secondary and senior secondary the arts students of the year. With the medium of cinema bringing together all of the arts, we are excited to welcome a new sponsor to these awards, Event Cinemas, and we invite Mr. Lee Stadden, General Manager of Event Cinemas Cairns to the stage to award the recipients. Our primary art student of the year is Irina Vu. <laughs> Irina plays violin in the instrumental music program and is also a member of the String Ensemble. Her attendance at these extracurricular activities is exemplary. Irina is also a member of the primary choir, normally performing in the Estetfords and community days such as Anzac Day. She is a high achiever in academic and effort for music and always conducts herself as a positive role model for all things the arts in primary. Congratulations, Irina. Our junior secondary, the arts student of the year is Matthew Dent. Matthew is a student who demonstrates a range of skills and abilities within the music program. He has shown outstanding discipline and dedication to all the work he is required to present as an individual and in the ensemble groups during both rehearsals and performances. He has undertaken additional challenges this year with the completion of external exams with the Australian Music Examination Board and achieved excellent results. We look forward to seeing him continue his artistic development as a leader in the arts at Manly Park College. Congratulations, Matthew. Our senior secondary, the Arts Student of the Year is Zaria Chang.
Daria has been a dedicated member of the music program and has achieved excellent results in her curriculum studies in music, music extension and instrumental music. She has been our first student to tackle successfully the ambitious creative challenge to compose music for our own concert band as part of music extension. She has been a positive and supportive role model who gives her best, encourages others and lends a helping hand. I am sure that she will find music has a central place in her journey through life. Congratulations, Zaria. Thank you very much, Mr. Staddon, and Event Cinemas for sponsoring these awards. <laughs> I now invite Miss Ruth Pauls Mulford, instrumental music teacher and band conductor, to present our instrumental music students of the year who have been selected based on their musical skill, dedication, artistic discipline, and their representation of the college. These awards are kindly sponsored by the BPC PNC Instrumental Music Support Group. The primary instrumental music student of the year is Nicholas Martin. <laughs> Nicholas has been learning alto saxophone for the last three years. He has completed level four of the curriculum in this time. Nicholas is a member of the concert band and will be joining the stage band next year. This year, our junior secondary instrumental music student of the year is Patrick Martin. Patrick learns bassoon and tenor saxophone and is a valued member of the concert and stage bands. He was also voted junior band captain and has provided leadership to the junior band. Patrick also challenged himself this year by completing his Australian Music Examination Board Grade 5 Bassoon Exam in Term 2 after the COVID-19 lockdown and a broken finger during Term 2. Well done, Patrick. And finally, the Senior Secondary Instrumental Music Student of the Year, is Zaria Chang. <laughs> Zaria was voted band captain by her peers and has been a member of the college concert band and stage band since year six, playing alto saxophone. She has completed level seven and eight of the instrumental music curriculum, which has given her extra points towards her Queensland Certificate of Education. We wish Zaria all the best for her future and hope she continues her love for music making well into her adult life. Congratulations, Nicholas, Patrick and Zaria, and thank you to their teacher, Miss Ruth Pulse Mulford, for presenting the awards and the Instrumental Music Parent Support Committee for sponsoring the awards this year. I would now like to invite our Deputy Principal Senior Secretary, Mrs Tanya Finlay, to present our Citizenship Special Awards and All-Rounder Awards. Citizenship, one of our pillars of excellence, is valued very highly at Bentley Park College as we aim for our students to be active members of society whilst at school and after they graduate. I invite Mr John Spray from the Bentley Park Masonic Lodge to present the Freemasons Citizenship Awards. These go to one male and one female Year 6 student who has volunteered at school or in the community, entered competitions and has been an outstanding representative of the college in the community. It gives me great pleasure to announce the Year 6 Freemason Citizenship Award recipients for 2020 are Violet Supreme and Michael Jirogi. Violet is a dedicated and conscientious student who has willingly participated in many aspects of school life. Her behaviour and academic results are exemplary and she is an outstanding role model for other students at the school. This year, Violet's peers have voted her one of the primary leaders where she has assisted by introducing a resilience project topic for the week on parade. Violet attends weekly violin lessons and is a member of the primary choir. She is also a library monitor, giving up her time regularly to help at the library. In term three, she was a member of the year six Bentley Best. 
Micah is kind and supportive and a role model for all students. He was selected to be part of our Enrichment at Bentley Mentoring Program, assisting prep to year two students before school each week. Micah was an active participant on our primary sports day, encouraging his team and helped to ensure a high level of sportsmanship. He was also a member of the Trinity Coast South basketball team. Academically, Micah has achieved good results across all subject areas, aiming to do his best at all times. Congratulations to Violet and Micah, and thank you to the Ms. Bentley Park Masonic Lodge for sponsoring these awards and Mr. Spray for coming along to present them. There's some gift vouchers on the back of those, so do, don't lose those. It is my pleasure to now announce the recipient of the Member for Mulgrave Youth Volunteer Award and invite Ms. Carly Bock, representing the Honourable Curtis Pitt MP, Member for Mulgrave and Speaker of the Legislative Assembly of the Queensland, to present this award he kindly sponsors each year. This award is presented to a student in Year 11 or 12 who has actively participated in volunteer work at the college and in the community throughout the year. Congratulations to the 2020 recipient of the Member for Mulgrave Youth Volunteer Award, Catherine Pryke. <laughs> Catherine has been one of the driving forces in our senior leadership group, attending every meeting and actively participating in discussions and decision making. There were not a lot of events this year, but Catherine was passionately involved in helping to coordinate those that did happen like Valentine's Day fundraiser and the Year 12 formal. Catherine really made her mark in the community in December last year when she went on a two-week volunteer expedition to Cambodia with Camps International, representing the college. She helped two rural communities in Cambodia, building a family a toilet in one, and helping build water collection tanks, pathways, and barricades at a local school in another. Congratulations, Catherine, and we thank the Honourable Curtis Pitt MP for sponsoring this award each year and for Miss Bock attending our ceremony to present this award on his behalf. <laughs> Army Corporal Christopher Campbell of the Department of Defence will now present the ADF Long Term Leadership and Teamwork Awards. These awards provide a fitting tribute to the long-term veterans by encouraging and recognising in Year 10 and Year 12 students who demonstrate the values at long term such as determination, mateship, teamwork, tenacity, compassion and leadership. The Year 10 recipient is Isaac Brooks. As a Year 10 leader, Isaac demonstrated leadership and teamwork skills by assisting with running formal parades, rewards activities, and organisation of lunchtime sporting activities. Isaac is a member of the concert, stage band, and percussion ensemble, and is also a Bentley Crusaders rugby league player. He was a peer mentor, assisting Year 7 students transition into secondary school, and providing a positive influence for younger students. Isaac has consistently achieved strong academic outcomes in all subjects, contributing to his status as a positive role model for his peers. Our Year 12 recipient of the Long Tan Award is Aisha Khan. Aisha has demonstrated her outstanding leadership qualities through her leadership roles over the last six years, and this year was one of our college captains. She is regularly front and centre in the organisation of fundraising events and has helped organise Valentine's Day, senior parades and the Anzac ceremony video, the Year 12 graduation, their formal yearbook and legacy item for 2020. Asia achieved top of subject for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander studies and was a member of the college titration team and involved in UQ science ambassador competitions. Aisha has led the school with creative and challenging ideas, ensuring equity and equality for all. Her determination to get the job done makes her a very worthy recipient of the ADF Long Term Award. Thank you to the Australian Defence Force for sponsoring the ADF Long Term Leadership and Teamwork Awards and for Army Corporal Christopher Campbell for presenting the awards to our very worthy recipients, Isaac and Aisha.
A new award this year is the Quatsup Young Indigenous Leader Award, which will be presented by Indigenous Elder Mr. Neville Reyes. This award goes to Quatsup Scholarship recipients who have shown outstanding leadership in their community, and I would like to congratulate Isaac Waterbo Morgan on receiving it this year. Isaac is one of our college captains and a member of the Clontarf Academy. He actively volunteers with Clontarf to cook breakfast every Thursday at White Rock State School, in addition to other volunteer work around our local suburbs. Isaac was vice captain of the BPC Crusaders Rugby League team and an active contributor to the Year 12 Formal and Yearbook Committees. Isaac has consistently met lots of student eligibility criteria, including its attendance, effort and behaviour standards and is on track to receive his QCE, and demonstrates a willingness to fully participate in the life of school and be a worthy role model for other students. Thank you, Isaac, and thank you, Mr. Rays, for presenting for us. I would like to invite College Principal, Mr. Bruce Houghton, to present the final awards of the ceremony to our top all-rounders. Exemplifying all five of our pillars of excellence, these awards are presented to a primary, a junior secondary and a senior secondary student who have demonstrated the best all-round academic, arts and sporting achievements as well as extracurricular involvement, citizenship, initiative and leadership qualities. The 2020 primary all-rounder is Nicholas Martin. Nicholas is a hard-working student who shows respect and commitment to the college. This year, he was elected as primary captain by his peers and has shown great leadership skills. Nicholas has been involved in many whole college events, such as the Farnham Queensland Regional Forum, helping to highlight college programs. He has also shown excellent academic achievement across all subject areas and has represented the college in several inter-school sporting events. Nicholas is a member of the college band, and this year he was selected as a mentor for our enrichment program at Bentley Program. For our enrichment at Bentley Program, assisting the prep to year two students before school each week. The 2020 junior secondary all-rounder is Patrick Martin. Patrick has been a fantastic role model for younger students in his position as a junior secondary captain and peer mentor, also appearing on the college's YouTube channel in videos demonstrating virtual reality and promoting the Resilience Project. This year, Patrick was awarded Gold Academic, Citizenship and Arts Awards and is a valued member of the concert and stage bands. A talented and committed swimmer, he recently competed at the Queensland Short Course Championships. Patrick's pet swimming event, the individual medley, perfectly represents this true all-rounder. And now for our final award of the ceremony, the Caltech's Best All-Rounder Award, sponsored by Caltech Australia. The 2020 Senior Secondary All-Rounder is Kayla Thompson. <laughs> Kayla is a member of the college leadership team and Upolo House Captain. She is a talented track and field athlete and a member of our instrumental music program and also one of our band captains. A strong academic student, Kayla was top of subject for biology, chemistry, ancient history and physical education. She has been recognized today with awards for her participation in the arts activities, citizenship and academic achievement. Please join me in congratulating Nicholas, Patrick and Kayla for their outstanding achievements across a range of pursuits in 2020. I'd like to take this opportunity to congratulate each and every award winner here tonight, from Silver Awards winners right through to our special award recipients. To those continuing their journey at the college next year, we hope you aspire to again be rewarded in this way for your achievements. To those who are graduating this year, we wish you all the very best for your future pathways. May you all lead a happy and successful life. 
Congratulations to our 2021 primary captains-elect, Heather Marks and Mark Mulford, and our 2021 college captains-elect, David Hunter, Nick Clark, Jasmine Matthews and India Osborne Wilson. Thank you to our presentation ceremony hosts, 2020 college captains, Zaria, Aisha, Claudia and Isaac, who have been the outstanding leaders at Bentley Park College. I'd now like to invite them back to the stage for the vote of thanks. Thank you, Mr. Houghton. Congratulations, all our 2020 award winners and 2021 primary and college captains. We wish you well as you lead the college next year. 2020 has without a doubt been an inter interesting year and one we will never forget. We are proud of our students and the hard work they have put in and the resilience they have shown. These students are proof of the positive outcomes we achieve at Belling Park College. We would like to thank our many generous sponsors who have made our presentation ceremony possible. The Lion Club of Edmonton, JCU, CQ, QITE, MEGT, MRAIL, TAFE Queensland North, BPG, North Point Power and Data, Mr. Jeff Pazuti, the Australian Olympic Committee, Event Cinemas, the BPC PNC Instrumental Music Support Group, the Bentley Park Masonic Lodge, Quatsip, the Honourable Curtis Pitt MP Member for Mulgrave, the Australian Defence Force and Caltex Australia. Thank you also to our guest presenters and sponsors for assisting in congratulating the special award winners and the students and staff who have contributed to the event. Thank you to our college concert band for their performance, conducted by Ms. Ruth Pollard Mulford, which, and we wish them luck with their entry into the upcoming online Australian school band and orchestra festival. Finally, we would like to thank our college principal, Mr. Houghton, our heads of school, primary and secondary, Mr. Rod Jackson, Mr. Stuart Edwards, head of special education services, Mrs. Subo, and deputy principals, Mr. Jamie Finger, Ms. Nicole Douglas, Ms. Renee Moore, Mrs. Tanya Finlay and Mr. Brenton Moorhead for their leadership in 2020. We hope you have all enjoyed our 2020 presentation ceremony.